All right, so we're going to talk about Gauss's Law. And Ga Gauss's Law is a really useful way to use the flux. So Gauss was a very famous mathematician a long time ago, and you will run into his name over and over and over again during your physics studies. Um, so what Gauss's Law um, does is it relates the flux to the total amount of charge um, enclosed in a surface. So that so this is like you have an entire it has to cover the entire surface. Uh, it has to be a closed surface. So like a pop can is a closed surface, um, but a sheet of paper is not a closed surface. Um, so what Gauss's law tells us is that the total flux it is equal to the enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught, independent of the shape of the surface. No matter what, the total flux is the enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught. And that's actually pretty significant because that's saying that if you have any type of funky surface, so your flux is the um, electric field dotted with n hat dA, and no matter what, it's equal to Q over epsilon naught. It's really useful. So in this case, the enclo total enclosed charge is Q1 minus Q2 minus Q5. So the flux is Q1 minus Q2 minus Q5 divided by epsilon naught. I can draw another surface. This one is, this one has a flux. Q1 minus the magnitude of Q2 plus the magnitude of Q3 divided by epsilon naught. I draw another, let me clear this one out. I draw another surface and the total flux is equal to Q6 minus Q5 plus Q4 over epsilon naught. And if we go through the step by step, the total flux is two microcoulombs divided by epsilon naught. This is positive. We move on to the next one, and it is negative two microcoulombs divided by epsilon naught. And the next one. The only thing enclosed is the positive two microcoulombs. So our flux is positive two microcoulombs. This charge and that charge, they don't matter because they are not enclosed in the surface. The next one, this guy. These charges don't matter. They are not enclosed in the surface. So our total um, charge is six minus four minus one equals one microcoulomb. So our total flux is one microcoulomb divided by epsilon naught. The next one, these guys, they don't matter. So the total enclosed charge is four plus six minus 10, it is zero. Oops. The total flux in that case is zero. And you could do this. We often can only calculate. Um, we, we usually in intro classes only give you simple objects um, like cubes. This one, total flux, three microcoulombs divided by epsilon naught negative three microcoulombs divided by epsilon naught. 
positive 3 microcoulombs divided by epsilon naught. These guys, they don't matter. Last one, 0. There's no enclosed charge. So you can do very complicated calculations very quickly using Gauss's law. If you had to calculate this in Cartesian coordinates, it would be hard. It is, this one would be pretty hard to calculate like this. But we can use Gauss's law, and we don't have to do a bunch of integrals.